Yeah. Little low. Welcome back to another episode of the Holster Sommelier, where today we're going to get some of the behind the scenes instruction from Bill DC of CCW USA, along with the shooting footage. So some of the stuff you can use at your own range if you like. Hopefully you find it helpful. Today we'll be shooting the Wilson Combat SFX9 full size grip three and a quarter inch barrel and the Atlas Nemesis. All right, we're going to shoot on the moving target and this is a dry run or a cold drill where you're basically, you haven't shot any guns today, uh, you're, you're locked and loaded uh, in your concealment holster. Uh, we're gonna basically move that target. When you see the target move, you're gonna draw and fire at least two rounds center mass is your goal. And he's gonna be coming straight at you kind of quick. Mm -hmm. We've also got him on some rocky terrain so he may move around a little bit. Uh, the thing is track your, track your optic, but look at the target and just see that your optics on the target as you're breaking shots. You do have to break shots faster because he's closing distance on you pretty quick, but you don't have to go as fast as you can. Uh, train it to like 80, 90%. Um, but again, a cold drill, the purpose is to kind of test your skills, see how it is. Then we'll do some uh, practice on the non-moving target and we'll come back to the moving target. Sounds good. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Ready. You're ready. Ready. static drill uh, for the moving target and this is a practice exercise to just get us kind of dialed in on what we're doing on the mover uh, either the charging knife or the lateral mover uh, so what I'm gonna have you do is just five shots center mass mm -hmm. uh, from the draw come up on target uh, actually let's let's give it two mm -hmm. uh, and then go back to the holster give it three so we'll do five okay. rounds total sounds good uh, so we'll do it twice uh, run that evolution two but you're three. trying to get get your presentation get your drawn presentation up there uh, optic right on, still uh, target focused, but optic shows up. Go ahead and break those shots. Sounds good. Uh, All three of those were in. Yeah, not bad. Ready? It's funny, I still got one right on the edge there. We already ran a couple of practice exercises on the static target mm -hmm. to kind of get your presentation, drawn presentation really good. Now we're going to go back to the mover uh, and the idea is to try to get two to three shots on him. Uh, maybe a little more accurate, closer to center mass. Keeping mm -hmm. in mind again, it's a moving target. He's kind of moving sporadically. Uh, differences that does add a little, little bit of pressure because it's a moving target. Mm -hmm. So same drill. Let's do it. Okay. Boom. Nice. 
the same drill. It's just the bad guy's gonna start closer. He's at about six yards. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna initiate contact at six yards. You've got less time to get on him, get the gun out, get on target, and get hits on him before he gets to you. Sounds good. All right, man. Is close. This is like five yards now. Five yards. What type of gun are you using? Uh, this is the Wilson. Con oh, come on! <laughs> That's cheap. You ready? Ready. Uh, so, bottom line, this is a laterally moving target. He's moving across this uh, lateral plane. And the way we justify this type of use of force would be he's running towards your family member. Maybe he's got a machete or an ax. He's already chopped up a couple people over in the side of the mall over there. He's running towards your loved one. You do have some innocent bystanders. That's any of the steel targets behind him mm -hmm. and the paper target that'll be in front of him as he goes by. Mm -hmm. So you need to track him. If you go to this guy, you need to either go low ready or up you know, high ready and then come around and try. You don't want to just try to cross your innocent bystander, you might, as long as your finger's not on the trigger, as long as you don't shoot the innocent bystander. Uh, the idea would be shoot him as he's coming across, and again, lead the leading edge of the target mm -hmm. is gonna be what's helpful uh, so you're not shooting past him or behind him. Sure, yeah. Did that go through right there? Is that a new one? Or is that... That's a new shot. We taped it. Oh, so we got all four on. Yeah. I was, I was worried. No, that's, good. <laughs> well, that's good. Good. So we're going to do a draw to first shot drill. Not as concerned with the time, just trying to get a smooth grip on the gun, join the hands, presentation out the target. See that dot drop in on your plate. Give yourself permission to press the trigger. Okay. Now the shooter is switching firearms over to the Atlas Nemesis with the red dot. So this is a shooting and then moving drill. You're going to be shooting five rounds on the big steel targets. You engage that target five rounds. You're going to move to the next target about 10 feet, 15 mm -hmm. feet. Engage that next target about five rounds. Move again, five rounds, move again, five rounds. Then you still have rounds left. You can engage any of the targets up on the hill. Any of the larger steel targets are up on the hill. Cool. It's a shoot, move, shoot fast, move smoothly. Sounds good. We're going to run the same type of drill, five rounds on each of the, the large plates, mm -hmm. uh, just the low plates because this is a little harder drill. You're going to basically shoot while moving. First target you engage standing and then you just turn to the next target. As you're moving, you're going to engage that target with five shots. Next target, engage with five. As you're moving, next target with five. You still have ammunition left, you can go for the other targets. Cool. Sounds good.
Well, that's a wrap. Another episode of the Holster Sommelier, folks. We hope you enjoyed it. Let's get behind the scenes. Little lesson uh, with our instructor, Bill DC of CCW USA. Hope you find it useful. If you do, take it out to your own range. If you've got some feedback on some of your favorite drills, please leave them in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Give a like. keeps us motivated to keep doing it. We'll see you on the next episode of the Holster Sommelier.